Well, I mean, I think the first thing to say is um, actually from an operational perspective, we obviously have world class uh, security and intelligence agencies. We have um, uh, policing expertise in counterterrorism. And uh, while it might be the case that in the media um, and in politics, we are, I think, nervous, uh, reluctant to talk about it, um, that job done by those experts goes on uh, and is done with serious professionalism. Uh, but it is the case, as you just suggested in your question, um, that I think we've actually regressed. I think in the years following the 7-7 attack um, under Tony Blair, the country started to have much more of a debate about the nature of the threat we face, uh, about what we might need to do to uh, equip ourselves in the fight against it. Uh, I think in the David Cameron years, uh, during which I worked in the Home Office um, uh, under Theresa May, uh, we were, I think, pretty robust and 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 were fully prepared to engage in quite difficult conversations. But it does feel like we've regressed on this subject. And the incredible thing to me is just three days after there was a suicide bombing outside a maternity hospital in a British city, uh, Prime Minister's questions, not a single member of Parliament thought to ask the Prime Minister, about the terrorist threat that we face. It is extraordinary. I mean, we've seen our threat level raised from substantial to severe, which means that another attack is highly likely. It, it seems that we are under greater threat now than we have been in previous years. And yet people were talking a lot more about terrorism at the time of the Charlie Hebdo affair of sort of the early 2010s. I, why, why has the conversation moved so, so drastically away at a time when the threat seems to have increased? Well, the threat definitely um, goes up and it goes down based on um, you know, the assessment of the experts and the Joint Terrorism Analysis Centre. Uh, and they clearly do uh, believe that the, the, the threat level is raised at the moment. Um, it has been this high before. Um, you know, I don't think it necessarily means that we should be uh, especially afraid or anything like that. But it does mean that we, take, we face a serious threat that we need to uh, take seriously. Now, you know, why is it? Uh, that the threat level um, is is up. Well, um, radicalization is a complicated process. There are um, tens of thousands of subjects of interest on MI5 um, databases. Uh, they can only actually monitor a certain number of those. So there's a complicated process of triage for them to work out who they need to have eyes on. Um, and, and recently, we've seen, you know, we've had the country locked down. Uh, we've had, uh, I think, a lot of social consequences uh, to lockdown. One of them, I think we will find, sadly, is that a lot of people who are already um, uh, kind of in the orbit of, uh, of radical ideas uh, and radical beliefs have spent a lot of time online uh, and will be, uh, will be perhaps ready to go to the next step and do something violent.